Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. Pots and Petals here, everything garden and allotment related. It's a beautiful day today. It's not too hot and it's not too cold, so perfect for getting quite a few jobs done. So we're gonna be doing a lot of weeding, a lot of tidying up, and I wanna sow some of the seeds from yesterday's video as well. Everything is starting to look a little bit wild and a little bit messy, so I do want to give it a nice tidy up and I might even treat the past to a mow. I didn't charge my strimmer, so that'll have to wait until next weekend. So join me today as we get some jobs done around the plot and getting it looking a little bit more presentable. If you remember on Friday we focused on these three beds and we got them nice and weeded so we're going to do that bed over there and we've also got the pine berry bed over there to focus on today. from tidying up that pineberry bed we've managed to find all of these runners so the ones that I've spread out all over the place they've either got quite small root systems on them or not at all but then we have got about five or six which were really embedded into the path so these are going to be potted straight up because they should do pretty well so we'll pot them up in a little while the rest of these we will put them in a fresh bucket of water and then they should start to grow some more roots if you remember we done this a couple of weeks ago with the standard strawberry runners and I'll give you a little update on those now. A couple of weeks ago we were cutting off the strawberry runners from the strawberry plants. Now they were quite fresh runners so a lot of them hadn't rooted at all. So we've stuck them in this bucket of rainwater and what that's going to do is promote the root growth and already a lot of them have started to grow little root systems already so look just look at those you can tell by the pink and white that they are very fresh roots so we want these to grow quite a nice root system before we start potting them up so we'll give these another couple of weeks maybe even a month before we start getting any frosts and then we can start potting them up and we can put them into the poly house for over winter so i'm just going to use the exact same method with all of the pine berry runners but I'm going to pop them in a fresh bucket of water. But these will be absolutely fine. I know there's a lot of midges and stuff in there, but that doesn't bother these little plant runners. We're just going to fill these pots with a bit of multi-purpose compost and then each of these plants will have their own little pot and we'll pop them somewhere in the sun and give them a good water and then in the winter that's when they can come into the poly house that will be way too hot for them at the moment. The other day when we were weeding around the seating area, the bark chipped area, I noticed this little rose type plant down here. Now I'm not too sure what it is, it might be a wild rose, like a rambling rose, but I thought we would dig it up and put it on and see what it turns into. I've managed to get a nice little root on him so we will pop him into a little pot and hopefully he will turn into something rather quite beautiful. If this little chap does turn out to be some form of rose whether it's rambling or climbing that will look beautiful along the back of the new sort of wildlife seating area I want to make. 
but if you think this is a weed please let me know in the comments because yesterday's video I was pretty sure that my blueberry had mutated but a few of you had let me know that it's a totally different plant so let me know what you think guys what do you think this might be I think it's time the carrot bed got a well-deserved weed so let's get in there and get most of what's in there out green manure mix has got a mixture of white mustard, phacelia, buckwheat and sweet clover and green manure is just a really great way to help protect your soil but also improve it. Now you want to sow your green manure quite thickly because the idea is that you want to crowd out any other weeds that could get in here and take up nutrients from the soil. Not only this but as the plants start to grow a little bit bigger throughout the winter period they're going to create a great barrier against all that real hard rain and the winds that we get which is just going to deplete the soil even further. Once they start to grow and flower you can then start chopping them down and digging them back into the soil. This way you're adding extra nutrients into that soil but also increasing the biological activity within the soil. So not only are you adding the nutrients that the plants have taken up from the soil but you're adding extra in there from the plants themselves and this doesn't just increase the nutrients in the soil but also the biological activity which is really important. And just a little tip, do not let these go to seed because you might have a bit of a weed problem on your hands. few of you have said that the mashed potato or roast potato squash are ready to harvest so I'm going to pick one today take it home and see what it cooks up like That's all we've got time for today folks, so we've managed to clear a few more of the beds so it's looking a little bit more organised. I have sown four new rows of carrots, a row of the Offenham 2 spring cabbage and also some Savoy cabbage. We've also been able to sow the green manure so that should add some nutrients into those beds but also protect it over the autumn and the winter. Oh and don't forget all those new pineberry plants that we're going to have for next year so I might be giving quite a few of those away to people. I haven't managed to mow the grass path so that's going to be a job for next weekend i'm going to get this side of the plot looking a little bit tidier so i'll see you all again next weekend for another adventure down on the plot so don't forget to subscribe like comment all of that good stuff and i'll see you all again very soon so take care guys bye bye